Fasting Day 16. This one's going to be a short one, I think. I never really know what's going to come through. Feeling amazing. And there's some travels coming up, so I'm just getting myself ready for that. I've been doing some work in San Francisco, and my venture's calling me there again. I continue to fast and plan to do so while I'm there. But as mentioned, if my body revolts in any way, I will, of course, take care of it. Quite a few of you have messaged me asking about the threes. So I thought today it made sense to talk about it a little bit. Threes have always been a form of validation in the story of Kelly. I was born on the third day of the third month, and there it began. At the age of three, profound things started happening in my life. Not all of them good, yet all of them obviously necessary for my soul plan. As I've moved along the path of this journey called life, threes have always been a directional pointing of validation. It seemed like any sport I entered without asking, I was always given the number three. When I started to get to the age of being in school and chosen for things, threes always seemed to be a pointing. I was the third one chosen to be on a team, or I was the third one asked to do my report live. Threes just kept showing up. Something in me knew they were a direct path to saying, you're going the right way, keep going, you have all the support you need. Now I certainly do not try to make threes happen. Of course, initially and before my near-death experience, that was a part of my spiritual thing. But what I notice now more than ever is that they just show up right when I need them, in the right ways, in the right times, and in the right mechanisms, with the right people and the right experiences. So threes are my pointing I wake up at 3 a.m. every single night without fail. Usually I'm not up for very long, but it's a calling and I wake up and I just say, thank you for the magic that has called me here. Show yourself to me. I feel so blessed and I go back to sleep. We all seem to have these little pointings these little invitations, these little interjections, glitches in the matrix, if you will. I truly do know they're signs from something far bigger than this avatar, just simply saying, one foot in front of the other, my love, one foot in front of the other. Stay open, breathe and do not resist, and know that the rest is taken care of. Much love until next time.